Hello, I am Dr. Rashid Ahmed from the Department of Physics of Kohat University of Science and Technology. In the subject of quantum mechanics 1 with the course code PHY212, we are at the lecture number 14 and the topic is the state function and expectation values. As you know that in quantum mechanics the state of a system is represented by a state function. It contains all the information needed about the system and one of that information is expectation values. In today's lecture we are going to learn that how we can define a state function and extract expectation values out of it. We start with the state function. It is usually represented by a symbol psi and in the brackets you see that it depends upon the position which is represented by r, a symbol r and time which is represented by a symbol t. This state function has to satisfy two mathematical properties that is it has to be continuous and differentiable. If this function not satisfying these two properties then it will not be possible for us to extract any valuable dynamics out of this state function. And another requirement is that it should contain all the information about the system and then we can extract that information out of this wave function using different kind of mathematical operators. And the expectation values are actually the average values associated with any kind of observable. For example, you can think of the expectation value of a linear momentum. So when we measure linear momentum, we expect that this value will come out but in quantum mechanics that is not ensured that uh, an expectation value will come out because this is an average value. So in all the experiments we design we measure different values and we take average of them and we say that this is the average or expectation value and uh, the measured value may not be that expectation value. So uh, expectation value is usually represented by this, uh, um, uh, the, these angle brackets here you can see which, it, which means that this C is any observable and it is an expectation value and defined like this. But before I explain this definition I would like to give you the detail of every symbol used here. For example this dr is the volume element where we are making the integration. So you, ca you can see that here we have an integral and this integral is done over this volume element which is uh, certainly uh, is a position volume element. And then we have a state function this is a wave function actually because in quantum mechanics uh, there is a wave property associated with all the particles and systems and this all wave nature is encoded somehow in this wave function that is why we call it a wave function. And this C is actually that observable whose expectation or average value is going to be uh, extracted out of from this wave function. So this C will this operator corresponding to this uh, observable will act on this wave function and will extract uh, the, uh, the, uh, the observable value uh, uh, corresponding to this operator. And the next is the conjugate of the state function because it is a complex quantity so to make it real we calculate uh, the product of psi and psi star but this product is calculated after the C uh, operator acting on psi and the last thing is this is an expectation value. So you see that the expect expectation value is defined from the uh, product of psi and psi star where uh, c is acting on psi under the integral or the volume element dr. So uh, what are the conceptual meaning of this average of an observable or expectation value of an observable. Actually expectation value is an average uh, value. Here you see the uh, conceptual definition where you see that we have uh, sum of all the values going from 1 to n of uh, these observables and then normalized with the number of observables. So what we do that we make following things. The first thing is that we observe C is measured in some experiment x. So this is some experiment in which we have uh, make the, made the measurement of this uh, ex expectation value c. You can consider it like a linear momentum of an electron for example is measured in some experiment. But in quantum mechanics if you repeat th the same experiment exactly the same replica of it you might not get the value again. So therefore what we do is 
that we prepare a large number of replicas of x so that uh, we can see that how much the value of uh, uh, this observable c for example linear momentum changes when we repeat the experiment again and again so we have the observable c measured in in a, in some experiment and this experiment is repeated many many times and large number of exactly same replicas is prepared then we make ensure that the initial states in each experiment x are identical if we don't do this then the experiment uh, by nature will be different and we will get a different result so to make sure that we are not using a different information we say that the initial values are identical in each uh, in each set of the experiments and the next thing we do is the we obtain the set c of all the values so we measured c in one experiment we make large number of experiments uh, large number of replicas of the same experiment we make sure that the initial values are same final we actually we cannot control and then it gives us a, a huge set of uh, values which we obtain and now the next thing you can uh, um, uh, assume for yourself you can imagine that we will make average out of them and and this average value we will call we will call an expectation value and uh, whenever we will make a next experiment in this replica we may not get the exact value uh, this expectation value but we might get to very near to this expectation value so this is the conceptual idea that the average of c from above experiment uh, matches the integral that uh, in some experiment when we take this uh, um, uh, average of uh, observable c measured in large number of replicas it actually is matches with this integral so this is the concept of expectation value uh, in the quantum mechanics okay the next thing is that uh, we can define uh, this expectation value in slightly different way uh, that is we can define it in terms of probability that is the probability what is the probability of having some value as you seen in here that we have measured uh, c in some experiment so rather than saying that this is uh, this outcome will come uh, this will be the outcome of the measurement we can say what is the probabil probability of uh, uh, some outcome in a measurement x so for this reason we define uh, expectation value in terms of probability where c is an observable and we have made a large large number of uh, replicas and p is the uh, probability of uh, finding uh, the value of c in some particular experiment so the function gives the probability that measurement of c finds the value c since here you see a uh, summation because this is a discrete number of experiments we have done but if we we make large number of experiments then uh, that makes a continuous set then we can replace the probability with an integral so this then c is the observable and pc is again the um, the probability of an observable c in the interval c and c plus dc because this integral int, uh, is this integral is done over uh, some interval uh, c uh, c plus dc so uh, we we got two ways of defining uh, uh, expectation value one is in terms of uh, uh, direct uh, measurements and another is in terms of probabilities we will see that the second definition will help us a lot and we will usually use the second definition in our quantum mechanics the se the uh, thing associated with this uh, probability measurement is the mean square deviation now you can uh, imagine that uh, once you have large number of experiments prepared identical experiments and you are making uh, measurement in each experiment and these are uh, different from each other then you will be interested in knowing that how much difference is from one experiment to another experiment and this is done with the help of mean square deviation where we define uh, delta c uh, square uh, like this or it can be equivalently defined like this and there if delta c is very large then we say that our data or the results of experiments are not very good because there is a lot of uncertainty in uh, in uh, in the uh, in the measurement but if delta c is small we say that the values are very very close to each other and uncertainty is very low so this is another concept in quantum mechanics uh, that is uncertainty and we will see that this is a core stone of quantum mechanics in in our in our coming upcoming lecture where we will uh, define delta c 
uh, in more detail. But here you can see that de this delta C is somehow the uncertainty in the outcome of an experiment which is inherent in the nature and not uh, because of any uh, discrepancy in the apparatus, but it is inherent in the system that we will get uh, delta C uh, or uncertainty in our measurements. Now, uh, we would like to give an example uh, of expectation value and the first example is of expectation value of position. So, consider that we have this uh, state function psi uh, where uh, you can see this uh, symbol a and uh, then uh, exponential contains some uh, wave function, uh, some position things uh, and then there is another exponential and then another exponential. Uh, this example is taken from the Lebov's book, but here I would like to explain that uh, all uh, these things are constants. For example, a is a constant, x naught is a constant, which is a mean position, p naught is a uh, momentum uh, and omega naught is a frequency and these are all constants. But there is another constant involved over here as well and this is called the uh, normalization constant. This a is a special kind of constant although it is a constant, but it ensures that, uh, that this wave function is correctly chosen and when we take the probability as I uh, discussed before that we will be interested in probabilities. So, this probability is correctly chosen. So, this, uh, this um, normalization constant will make sure that uh, mathematically the probability uh, or the state function is correctly chosen. So, this normalization constant is obtained from this condition that is psi psi star dx is equal to 1 where this psi psi star is actually probability. So, we say that the probability of any process must be equal to 1 that is this process is possible and uh, this is kind of normalization. If now we put psi and psi stars values over here, uh, 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 but before uh, putting these values we will uh, we would like to uh, make uh, the non-dimensional dummy variables kind of uh, uh, redefining some variables. Uh, like uh, uh, we will uh, redefine x minus x naught into a symbol eta and uh, another one is eta naught which, which is x naught by a. This is a convenient choice of some uh, variables which will help us to calculate these integrals over here. And once we put them into the wave function uh, or the probability that is psi psi star and uh, make some simplification you will see we will get this equation and uh, this is a Gaussian integral and uh, it will give you the value 2 pi and from here you can calculate the uh, this uh, uh, normalization constant. So, this normalization constant is now ensuring that uh, our probability must be equal to 1 and the state function we have chosen will, will be behaving well. After uh, doing this uh, calculating the expectation uh, the uh, normalization constant now we are going to calculate the expectation value of x. So, by definition the expectation value in terms of probability is psi x hat psi the first integral uh, the first definition we have uh, uh, we have seen and here now uh, the first thing which will which we will do that this x acting on a psi once this x acting this is an operator corresponding to the position uh, observable and when it acts on it it is defined uh, this x operator is defined by the action of multiplying a position with this uh, wave function that is why over here you see this is the uh, uh, the expectation where this is the uh, average value or you can say this is uh, uh, the eigen value uh, eigen value multiplied by the psi. So, this operator is acting on psi giving us the eigen, eigen value x and uh, if we put now the psi value and uh, psi star uh, what we will get uh, is that uh, a square a here uh, we should have psi star this is psi star because this is a conjugate of it and when we put it over here the value of psi star and psi and uh, uh, make this uh, uh, variable uh, eta definition putting into it here we get these two integrals one over eta and one over eta naught. The integral over eta will vanish and uh, if you calculate this integral and put these uh, limits there it will vanish and we will be left with the eta naught integral we, we uh, since it is constant we can take it out and uh, this is now then Gaussian integral which is very famous integral uh, having value 2 pi and if you insert its value here and insert the value of uh, a square what you get uh, will be left with a eta naught 
and uh, this is defined to be x naught and you see the expectation value for the um, for the position we got is x naught which is the mean value and if you would like to plot this information uh, what uh, in terms of the probability so we want to define the probability which is psi uh, uh, psi mart square and the probability of finding the particle in the interval x plus dx and uh, this is the formula for the probability and if you uh, if you calculate this integral you you will get that the probability density that is psi psi star is equal to uh, this formula over here and we would like to uh, plot this uh, because this is a gaussian distribution and to show that this is exactly the gaussian distribution we would like to plot the position uh, for the probability so on y axis we have a probability and uh, of finding the particle in, in the interval x plus dx and on the x axis we have the position and uh, the mean position is over here x naught and if we plot you see that we get the gaussian distribution and here uh, you get 2a is actually the variance this variance is very important thing because this variance gives us that how much uncertain the value is it's somehow called the uncertainty in the uh, quantum mechanics uh, so we see that uh, we can have this value or we can uh, we can have these two extreme values or this the uh, the expectation value which lie which is x naught uh, so if our data is very good and uh, we are uh, having less uncertainty so our, uh, we will find in all experiments values near to very uh, very near to x naught but if uh, our experiments are not very designed we will get values far away from x naught but this x naught is actually the expectation value in the same way uh, we can uh, calculate the variance of x from that formula that is delta x square is equal to x minus x naught and if you calculate the put the values over here of x uh, x and expectation value of x naught you will get that the variance is a square which is where which is the gaussian which is the gaussian distribution uh, variance so it confirming that what we got is the correct value so now we go to the another example and calculate the expectation value of momentum so same procedure uh, we have uh, uh, p and we have here uh, psi star uh, psi psi star and when this p acting on psi it will give us uh, because p is actually uh, an operator uh, the exact value or the specific form of this operator is minus i h bar del by del x it will act and this is psi star again and it will act on psi we uh, uh, if we put the value of psi star and psi under this integral and calculate all these values again we get uh, two integrals eta 1 over eta and 1 over p naught and if we uh, make the calculations uh, this this will go away we again, again get uh, this gaussian integral and if we put uh, value of it and uh, a square what we get is expectation value is p is equal to p naught so in today's lecture you've seen that uh, we have uh, defined the wave function and uh, we said that uh, all the information about the quantum system is contained in the wave function and then we have defined the expectation values and give you two examples of how to extract the expectation values out of a state function and the formula uh, for both uh, uh, position and uh, momentum examples um, are defined and uh, the important message from this lecture is that uh, we know now that we can have only um, expectation value or average value so expectation value is an average value and uh, this average value means that if we prepare large number of replicas of for some experiment then we will uh, we will make measurement uh, but in quantum mechanics we will see that the measurement in every experiment will be different from uh, another experiment and so on so we cannot really predict uh, that uh, exactly that what value we will get but uh, a thing which we can predict is the probability which we can calculate is the probability of having some value and uh, once we have the probability uh, we then know that how f uh, how off this probability from the uh, expectation value which is actually average of all the outcomes and if our exp uh, if our if our probability is far from the expectation value uh, we say that there is uh, an uncertainty in our results and if it is uh, nearer to the expectation value we say there is less uncertainty in, uh, in our experiments. With this I thank you all.